Missions Pulse. Know God's heart, join his mission. I love the simplicity of this. And I also like how you describe this relationship with God in almost a militant, over-the-radio kind of conversation. Sometimes we're here in dead static or nothingness. Uh, sometimes you're trying to make out this muffled voice, but he's always talking. And that's what's always struck me about you. I mean, you've been, if you go back to in the jungle conversation or in the rural areas, you've taken some heavy fire, you've taken some, been in some precarious places. Is the Holy Spirit always speaking to people? It, it, do you actually hear God's voice when you're in a real difficult, crazy situation? Well, I've never been able to, no, I do not always hear God's voice. Okay. And I've never been able to control any of it. But it is, I think that radio analogy can be taken a little bit. When you're a subordinate unit, you call the hire. Hmm. They don't have to answer. They're sending the orders down to you. And if you don't hear from them, you go with the last order that you had. And you go with the commander's intent. Hmm. For example, in the military, here's the mission. I want you to destroy that bridge. But the commander's intent is that no enemy cross that river. So I have the Pacific destroy the bridge, but I have a bigger picture. Yes. No enemy can cross the river. I have no more radio communication with my commander for whatever reason. I still have my mission. Let's say I get there and I can't destroy the bridge because I don't have the wherewithal. Well, I'll cross it and make another obstacle or do something because I know the bigger picture. So God gives us specific missions mm. to do. And there's always the general mission. Love people. Yeah. Obey me. Love people. Yes. And we always know that. And you go with the last order that you got if you don't hear God's voice. And if you don't know what to do, love. Jesus, give me love. And then sometimes I feel, I believe, I've heard God's voice very clearly. Hmm. I've never been able to engineer those or predict those, but they happen. And they've guided us first into Burma, and then into Iraq and Kurdistan, then into Syria. And for me, it's real. Missions Pulse. Know God's heart. Join his mission. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed that video, leave a comment below. Tell me what you thought. Also, you might want to check out this video here. And honestly, that one's not bad either. Make sure you subscribe to Missions Pulse by clicking the subscribe button right here. And also click that little bell button so you get notified every single time we post a new video.